He's an actor, he's a model, and he's about to take the world by storm playing Christian Grey in the big screen adaptation of Fifty Shades of Grey. Welcome, welcome. Do you, you do you do you get this kind of reaction everywhere you go? Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's pretty standard this yeah. year. Pretty standard right yeah. now. Yeah. You ever get used to it? No. <laughs> no. Did you know that you are your homeland, Ireland, yeah. is home to the number three sexiest accent in the world? Did you know that? What are, what, what are one and two? Uh, one oh, one is, is uh, England, England and two and is America. Yes. <laughs> okay. You, you okay. don't agree? Do you agree or you disagree? I kind of, I mean, you know, I'm obviously a little bit biased. I'll probably put us slightly further up the pecking order. But I, you know, en English is first. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's what I said. I thought it should have been good old American. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all cool. don't agree, I guess, right? I'm sorry. <laughs> So now, tell, take me on your journey. So you left Ireland, you came to L.A. for work when you saw your reflection in a mirror and was like, <laughs> holy crap, uh, look at all this. I don't think I've ever had that uh, reaction when I've looked at myself in the mirror. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, I mean, I came to L.A. the first time probably, I mean, 10, 12, 13 years ago, something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, with the intention... I think I was modeling a bit by then, and then uh, I wanted to be an actor, but it was, it's, it's a tough game, man. It's tough yeah. to get into, you know. Um, but so we get, you know, a lot of people from that side of the world, in Britain and Ireland, they all sort of cling together and come out at the same time and, you know, live together and try to get work together and, and don't really get any work for the first part for me. You know. But we hear that your former roommate's an Oscar nominee now. Who, who is that? That's right, Eddie Redmayne, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Take me through the struggles. Well, you guys are unemployed actors. What are yeah. you doing? Well, it's like, so Eddie and I went over together, and the idea was, like, we'll get, this is going to be great. You know, we'll just talk in our number one and number three accents in the world. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and people, we just thought it be easy. People be, like, throwing work at us, and... Um, polar opposite I mean it was just it was just tough and we were at the same agency at the time and I remember like the first day we arrived like fresh off the boat in LA and uh, someone from the agency dropped around scripts for mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. but their scripts were ready and their scripts for me and my pile was huge it was like it must have been like 25 scripts in my pile and like three in his and, and so it was this like contention of like you know but actually what that essentially means is that I had like 23 more jobs that like I wasn't going to get. I mean, it was basically <laughs> like, it's just like, you know, more failure for me, I guess. Um, but that's what's so lovely about it now, because good things are happening, you know, for, for both, both of us, and it all kind of worked yeah. out, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, as you said, acting is a tough business, but yeah. modeling is also a tough business. But are you, are you, is there anything that you're self-conscious about? I mean, I don't feel great about, uh, you know, how I've... I, you know, like everyone's the same. Everyone has things that they don't feel comfortable about themselves, and they would change. And um, I have loads of those. I have massive insecurities about uh, the way I look, the way I walk, the way I speak, everything. You know. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah, I do. Even yeah. you. Even yeah. you. What's okay. okay? Give us one thing that you are ashamed about that you would change if you could. Because I, I'm eyeballing you. I can't find anything. Uh, I, ha I. I'm a bad walker, like I can't, it's, it's like the first thing that we learn to do pretty much on the, on earth and I can't do it. I mean, you I mean can do it, I can get, I can get from A to B, I just yeah. not, I don't like the way I get from A to B. Let me see, can we see you? No, no, no. Okay. I just want to see what happens okay. I mean, Let's the, the, see. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, that was all wrong. <laughs> okay, I just, I just, like, you know, I'm just walking, right? But that, What's wrong with that? That's yeah, yeah, so fine. I guess I, you probably see nothing wrong. And I like, if I watch this back and I see that, I'll be like, no, I shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have done it. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I mean I that mean, was professional model quality yes. walking. Well, right also, there. you see, when I modeled, I never, I've never done a catwalk in my life. Um, and there's 
if you look into that, it's probably because I'm not very good at walking. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have a feeling right now you can walk into any room and yeah. get this reaction to that. <laughs> yeah. We're going to take a quick break. And then when we come back, David's going to tell us which scene was the toughest to film in Fifty Shades of Grey. So stay right there. More with Jamie doing it. we come back. We are back with Jamie Dornan, star of Fifty Shades of Grey. And this is something I, I was I'm so curious about. I've seen all the trailers and I heard about the movie. I'm like, I wonder what the audition process was. For you. Yeah. I don't think it's a, what you think it oh. might be. <laughs> really, it's yeah. not. No, it's pretty standard. I mean, like the first time they sort of asked us, us they requested that some actors made a tape for it and, you know, mm -hmm. put themselves on tape. But then it was, uh, they were being very secretive about the script and they wouldn't release anything as often as the case of big studio movies. So we did a scene from True Romance. Oh. Um, oh. The, yeah, the I thought you said just put it on tape. I'm like, what kind of tape they want? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, um, so that, and I made a tape and this was a long time before they announced anything. And I didn't hear anything. Like, I mean, I was like, I didn't even get like a sort of, hey, we got your tape. Like, it was like it never happened, you know? Right. And I remember just thinking, It'd be kind of a funny story to tell people that, oh, yeah, yeah I actually, I auditioned for that, to play that guy. Like, right. I just, I just thought and that was And there was no it. response to No it. response right. at all. Like, and then three months later, they must have come across my tape when they were cleaning up one day or something. <laughs> and uh, and uh, then there was a bit of, they were kind of into it, and there was a bit of heat, and then um, cast someone else. I forgot about it, and then that happened. He dropped out, and yeah, and then it was kind of, that's when I first then met Sam they, and Dakota. Did they and, call you and say, uh, you know, uh, Jamie, do you know how to use handcuffs? <laughs> um, oh, I mean, I guess that, yeah, they did, yeah. 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 There has to be, I mean, it, it's we had that conversation. I mean, if we're being honest, <laughs> ladies, calm down. <laughs> At a certain point, they have to know how comfortable you are with uh, crotchless chaps and a whip. Am I right? Well, yeah, because look, not that many guys are that I know or right. are that comfortable in that kind of world. But Let well, me handle know. this. I'm, 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 I'm sitting right here, here going, this is all <laughs> You just sit there and you... I'm going to be over here. Tell us yeah. about him. Tell us about that. I mean, handcuffs, I mean, I'm more, you know... <laughs> I'm more actually interested in some of the other apparatus that was in, Tell in the room. Tell us about that apparatus. <laughs> what was your favorite? What was your favorite thing that you said? Wow, I didn't know that this I mean, look, was used for this. I mean, the, I mean, Jesus. I mean, there's so much stuff. <laughs> like, well, the first time I got into the red room, I was like, because the red room is actually really beautiful and like really impressive mm -hmm. and like you know, obviously. Christian Grey has got a lot of money and is able to make it the way he wants. But the attention to detail that we had in the film was really something. And, you know, I'm, I get very, I, I get quite hyper sometimes. I get, I'm a real, like, fiddler and I play with stuff all the time. So for me, like, that room, like, I was yeah. like... <laughs> Look at all these writing props, yeah, yeah, exactly. so many of them. All different thicknesses yes. and different, you know, materials. And, um, you know, I'd never held a flogger before. I mean, I don't... I, like, you don't have to say that. You know. <laughs> yes, you have. I have, I have not. Yes, have, you have. have. Yeah, I have. And we're going to yeah. take a look at a clip. And cool. in this clip, Anastasia helps your character, Christian, mm -hmm. purchase some supplies. Oh, yeah. So here is Jamie okay. Dornan in Fifty Shades of Grey. So what is your thing? Um, I don't know. Books? <laughs> okay. Rope. Cable ties. You're the complete serial killer. Not today. <laughs> you sure are delightful to uh, have. It's nice to have Thank you. you. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Hope you come see us again. I'd love that. That'd be great. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, guys. We'll come back next, Dale Earnhardt Jr. will be here.